Howdy, Sir Norman. Today I am excited to take you through the creative process behind my latest drawing. First things first, let's talk about the inspiration behind this artwork. The reference I'm using is a stunning picture of a cormorant. These birds have always fascinated me, and they happen to be my, one of my absolute favorites. So, it would only felt natural if I make them my subject. For the medium, I am using uh, digital art. Now, let's discuss the fundamental building blocks of this artwork, lines and shapes. Starting with a rough sketch was essential. It not only captures the form of a cormorant, but also serves as a guide for the entire drawing. Sketching is like a blueprint of any master thesis. As you can see, the texture is crucial. Those strokes of line help create this illusion of fetters and give the subject the emphasis it deserves. Paying attention to the negative spaces around the bird is equally important to make it stand out. Now, I have to admit, shading is in my strong suit. It's an area I need to work on, but practice makes perfect, right? I've tried my best to add depth by incorporating shadows and highlighting, attempting to give our Cormorant a three-dimensional look. Moving on, as you can see, I've added another layer and reduced the opacity of the previous one. This serves as a guide for my line art, ensuring that I capture all the details accurately. Towards the end of this process, I hit a bit of a burnout and lost some motivation, which slowed me down. I apologize for that, but it's essential to acknowledge that these creative moments can be challenging. And here's the final product. It may not be perfect, but it's a representation of my passion for drawing and for cormorants, and my dedication to improving my drawing skills. Thank you for joining me, Sir Norman.